Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing another da -da anime review. And today we are reviewing. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Hmm. No, no guesses. Today we are focusing on heroes. We're doing a lot of hero themes because today is Father's Day and we consider fathers as our heroes, including stepdad's grandfather. So today I will show you an review on. Boku no Hero! And so, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm gonna show you the intro because I don't think y'all ready for this. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> Here's the intro to Boku no Hero. There we go. That, my friends, was the opening to Boca No Hero. <coughs> Bless me. Now, as I was saying before, there is a there is a huge theme of superhero going around, and what I mean by that, hold on, there we go. What I mean by that, a huge theme of superheroes like today, we're talking about Superman, Clark Kent, the one who matured his powers close to teenage years adulthood. But, uh, sorry, Mama. And then we're talking about Boku no Hero, the one boy who didn't have a quirk, but still hoped that he could be a hero like his favorite hero, All oh, Might. Now, who is this boy you might ask? Well, I am here to tell you. Hold on. Sneeze. Okay, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Great. Okay. So, Ikutsu Deku. Get it? Deku? No. No. Okay. Uh, has has dreamt of being a hero all his life. A lofty game for anyone, but especially challenging for a kid who has no superpowers. And they call superpowers or superheroes or who have superpowers quirks. And he is quirkless. Sadly, poor Deku Boo Hoo. But this had to write. In a wonderful world where 80% of the population has some kind of superpowers. And what, 20%? No, not so much. But they do, it's fair. But poor Isu, Ik Ikuzu Deku was unlucky enough to be completely and utterly normal. Even his mom had a quirk. And so did his dad. We don't know what to do. Besides that. But that's not enough to stop him from enrolling in one of the, mo the world's most prestigious academies for heroes. So he tries his best. See, Deku doesn't give up. He tries his best. He's trying to be, I'm going to be like all my, even without my, without my superpowers. I'm going to be the hero that everyone can depend on. And he tries. And I'm ex also excited to announce that they have announced season four. For Boku no Hero, and it comes out, let's see, October 12th, which I'm excited, because I watched all three seasons during Easter break when I was on campus. I think I was delusional at that point, but it's fine, it's fine, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. 
Zanny, but I'm fine. But anyway, back to Boku no Hero. Boku no Hero is this journey of a man trying to find his place in the world when so far he's been born cork, corkless or no powers intended because being normal is kind of bad thing. You're looked down upon, no one respects you, take you seriously, and then Deku tries so hard to feel like you belong in this world where even probably the population has powers and his so-called childhood first best friend Bakugo. I really don't like Bakugo. I'm sorry if y'all do like Bakugo. He just read me the wrong way in the first episode. First of all, I don't like bullying. Second of all, I know that's the power of the plot to push everything forward and make Deku stronger and better person, but for me, I don't like Bakugo. Point blank. Don't come at me. This is just my opinion, okay? But, um, uh, <clears throat> back to has a hand. Deck would, Deku improves in all the friends of, um, Boku no Hero, which I am very happy. And, you know, if you watch it too, you'll find out why it makes happy that he's improved so much. And comment down below in the comment box, who's your favorite character from Boku no Hero? I would love to know, besides Bakugo. You can say, if you like him, you hate him. You know, you can be on my side or you don't. Yeah, I won't be offended if you're not on my side, but not like you back. But, uh, the whole genre and, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I guess aspect of the whole anime is, like, coming together is, you know, even though you're different, you know, you're viewed as weak and you have no powers, um, I think you just keep your head held up high. And you know you are the hero, whether you have powers or not. You are a hero to somebody in somebody's eyes, like many today during Father's Day. Many stepdads or grandfathers or whoever you are, brothers, may be viewed as hero to that person's eyes. So I hope you enjoy my Boku no Hero interview, uh, anime review. And I hope y'all check it out because season four will be here before you know it. Because I've watched all season overall, the three seasons. I think all the interests have improved along each each, each season. Because it shows in each of the timelines of, this, of the anime that all the characters you watch in Boku no Hero, including Deku and Baka. They all evolved into the great characters and role models like, that everyone can like depend and lean on. So I hope y'all enjoyed this anime review and I will see y'all again next Friday for the anime review. And just show me some Boku no Hero love. Comment on who's your favorite character. You can explain why and I'll comment if I like that character as well. And let me know if you ship anyone in Boku no Hero. Cause all my friends have shipped certain characters with certain characters which did not get too much because I want y'all to watch the series because I am no spoiler sport. I hate to be in spoiled anime if I'm going to watch it. Please don't spoil it for me because I would not spoil it for y'all. So I am doing my best not to give too much away but I hope y'all enjoyed this review and I will see y'all tomorrow for our next one and thank you for tuning in for another done done anime review and thank you for tuning in and hope y'all see y'all again next Friday. Bye bye.